Now if there's a manufacturer that could give us adjustable mass within a club that could affect the Earth's true north and south poles, it would probably be tailor-made. So guys, get ready, because we're about to move the Earth. I've got a true love and hate relationship with tailor-made fairy woods. I hate how good they are. And I would, I suppose, love one in my bag. However, the issue is I don't really need, at this moment in time, a three wood. We might look at a five wood if you guys are keen to see that, let me know in the comments section. But comment down below what you think to the Stealth 2 Plus fairy wood. I mean, it looks the business. <laughs> that was a fade and that green was 300 yards away so adjustable weighting is nothing new in modern technology we see it a lot however when the weight in question is the same weight as a borrower's lunchbox it doesn't make that much of a difference really well stealth 2 plus says hold my beer because this baby is 50 grams so i thought i'd help you out and find out things that weigh 50 grams like household items 20 pennies. So we'll just put salt. 25 shoelaces. <laughs> 166 aspirin and one medium egg. Oh baby. Oh baby baby. This massive 50 gram weight will change launch spin and also distance. I mean, this thing is, it's everything in one. We've got a concoction of different adjustments that you can make that's gonna best fit either the golf course you're about to play or the best fit in for your bag. When I say the best golf course, you could be playing a goat track that's wide open. You wanna try and slip a disc in your back trying to outdrive your mate's driver. Wait at the front, lower the loft. I didn't say that. Then let's just say the week after, you're playing a really fancy, posh, fiddly, tight golf course that requires precision. So you put that weight further back Maybe alter the loft for a bit more of a standard setting. And you can all laugh about how accurate you were around the round table eating scones and tea. <laughs> how much does moving this 50 gram mass within the head affect the ball flight characteristics? We're going to try this. We're going to start at the back, then we're going to go mid medium, and then we're going to go forward for the big bombs. All the weight at the back, lots of mass, lots of stability, lots of height. That was easy to launch. Like that. It's just a point and, point and prod. One thing is weird. I don't know if any other reviews, I've not watched any, have said the same thing, but there's a weird noise when you swing it back, like the wind's going through the weight. I didn't really notice that on the front, but on the way back, Maybe it's because there's little holes right on the edge of the uh, actual club. What more do you want to have a fairway wood with that, eh? I could probably play this in this setting. And given it's the speed, along with all the other tech, is of course again ICT, and I don't mean the computer subject at school. Speaking of which, my old computer teacher's breath smell like a badger's arm. See here is where the cone technology gets to work and gives a speed across the entire face. You know, go wait, mid. This is a kid that always got picked at school, you know, good at everything. No one really likes it, that's, that's a lie. Everyone should like this setting. It's gonna be the know it all. Hopefully, give us the best of both worlds, but it's not really either, either. Now I feel a difference straight away in feeler impact and also ball flight. Bloody hell. Basically back to factory settings. This is like a, play like a standard 15 degree three wood in the, I suppose, the standard setting, which many will still prefer. Um, I'm not denying that. That's a great shot, Al. Oh, look at that. Slithering. Better. See, it's just got a bit more horsepower, especially landing. Less RPM. 
more of a punchy flight, side by side with the, uh, the first. The only two I've actually hit well. Not the greatest of hits. I feel like maybe the weighting at the back would have stabilized that one a little bit more. But still, you can't argue. <laughs> Left side of a 300 yard green. Right, silly setting. The bombs, push that baby. Forwards, you can barely see it, it's that far inside the head. Now, what we've just gained in ball speed and distance, dynamic loft being a bit lower, less spin, we've lost really instability. So this is where you've got to play this sensible. This will affect quite dramatically the performance of this fairway wood. So make sure you get fitted. You know what to do. And straight away, it feels like the three plus. <laughs> You've knocked that loft down from a static standpoint, which is then going to affect it dynamically. That is ridiculously low spinning. I hit that heavy and that's rolled out to 312. 1900 RPM. Wasn't a great strike, so don't uh, judge on that one. So much firmer feeling compared to the weight being at the back, which makes sense. You've got mass now right behind the hitting area. Yeah, it's... Uh... <laughs> yeah. Poo poo swing. But again, that's like stealth through driver flight. It's quite, quite remarkable. It'd be nice to hit one. But we'll save that and we'll look at these numbers because I'm excited to do so. Uh, on paper, you would assume back weighting would go shortest, mid would be mid, front would be the longest. Um, and from a robot testing, that will probably, probably be the case. That's why it's not really fair, me doing it, comparing whether this works or not. But this just shows you strike still trumps a 50 gram weight. I could have done this again, hit the backs high on the face, hit the fronts low on the face and the backs would have outdriven the front weight. The highest ball speed we actually got with the back weighting. Hit a few more out the centre, goes without saying. And we've actually lost speed as we've gone to the front. But I was, I was acti actively trying to slow down here because I knew I wanted to speed up. So that's probably counted itself out a bit. Launch, um, to be fair, not a million miles away, we've got 0.8 degrees of launch angle extra with the back compared to the mid and the front, I've hit very similar. So the spin pattern is, as you probably would expect it, quite extreme though. We've got 3165 back, 2264 mid and 2108 front. I reckon that's probably a bit high and these two are a bit low. So that, could, that would probably be brought in a little bit, a little bit closer. Carry, now, 272 back was the shortest. Um, 280 mid, I hit the say the mid the mid uh, weight in better, and 277 front, so um, three yards longer with the mid weight in over the front. But total distance, uh, 290 total back, 304 mid and 302 front. So based on that, if I could, uh, how I've hit them there, I would definitely choose the mid for. Because if I, I'm still going to get more stability with the position waiting in the in the centre over, over that of the front, there's no real loss for me to go mid. I'd even go back and dial that completely back. But uh, it just goes to show how much 50 grams of mass in a fairy wood does affect its performance overall. Um, I, I'm, I'm sure at this point you guys have tried this because I'm, I'm I'm later with the fairy wood review. But I've got to say it's one of the best things I've ever seen in the fairy wood. The fact you've got that much mass to to switch across. We've seen it before, I know, but I think with everything, with all the pieces of the technology around this head, all working together, we're not really going into the twist face and all that malarkey, this, of course I don't want to bore you, but it all works together to give us like three different fairway woods, really. <laughs> but let's not beat around the bush, um, if you want to hang around, because right now, I'm going to knock the loft down, just for, just for, just for giggles, there's no, no doubt there's a 320, 330 in this fairway wood. Um, and put that weight forward, keep that weight forward and see what numbers we get. But everybody else that wants to leave us, guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're not part of Team Mouse, hit the subscribe button, the bell notification, follow us on social media, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter.
Off the deck. <laughs> that is such a strong flight. A bit heavy. It's gone 321. <laughs> Okay, that's 300 plus carry. Three wood off the deck, 305 carry, 335 total distance.